What's happening, everyone? My name's Sammy. This is Motoring Health Mental Health. Yo, what's happening, everyone? Sammy again. Um, and I'm out with Big Red and it's broken down basically um, I think what's happened is we're getting air in with the diesel um, and that's why it won't start if you if I come over and show you what's happening when I start the engine right nothing yeah I've run the battery flat already, so I've had to go back and charge it at the garage. Now I'm back with a full battery. What I'm gonna have to do is bleed the injectors. Um, if you take a look, let me spin it round for you. So we're bleeding the injectors on the tractor. Tom's just arrived with my funnel. So we're going to fill it right up with diesel as high as it can go and then I'm going to loosen off these nuts one by one and let any air out of them and hopefully that will start it up again. Right, so I've filled the tractor up as far as it will go. Um, now I'm going to try and bleed some of these this is where the fuel comes from. Well, obviously it comes from the tank, but it comes it comes down, goes into this, and then it comes out of there along those along those pipes. Right, so basically we've got to undo undo these ones first. I mean, I say we've got to undo these ones first. I'm only guessing because obviously I'm not a mechanic. But where I've been using this tractor quite a bit, I've had to do this a few times. Um, right, let's check it now. Yeah, that's quite weird, there's nothing coming out of them. About this one, this one looks like there's a little bit of fuel's come out of there. Let's check that one because that might be where it's sucking the air in. Because basically, what's happening is as I'm driving along, air is sucking in somewhere in this fuel line, which makes your engine cut out. So, if I can find where that air's going in, I'll be laughing. Fuel's coming down this line. It's going into here, you like your prime pump, and then it comes up this tube and it goes into this bowl. And then from this bowl, it gets transported along these pipes, which go to the injectors. And on there, it says one, two, three, and four. So I think that's the number of the injectors. So I'm just gonna go around there and check them. So I'm gonna start with this one, I think. Just purely because this comes down from here into there, and then it, I think it goes from there. No, it goes, they're both coming in, and then it's coming out from these ones, and then it's traveling up, up to these injectors. So if I crack that, oh. right, see fuel's coming out of it straight away. Right, so I'll try and crank it. Oh, yeah. 
and that's how you solve it when you've got no start and you've got an air leak. You have to bleed your injectors. That's for any diesel engine. Yeah, it's up for that. Might be able to make it help. Yeah. So it's time to follow Tom back to the garage. Now that we're back in business, right, I've got to, I've got to raise my cutting deck. Tom's having fun. Right. Let's do it. Trying to get me into a race. Woo! Oh, I'm really pleased with that. We was a bit scared because we needed to get home, and uh, the tractor was stuck in the field. And obviously now we've sorted it. 